Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Sokhwan Kim, uh, Vice President of WeMade and CEO of Wimix. Uh, Wimix is a Singapore company. Uh, my name might be difficult to pronounce, so please feel free to call me Shane. Uh, I have been working the blockchain industry for the uh, past uh, last four years as a founding member of a company called WeMade Tree, uh, which has now merged with WeMade and become the Wimix division. We had a long and difficult time uh, which can be said to be the crypto winter pace, uh, but it looks like the effort has finally paid off. I would like to share my insights, some of the issues and experiences I have had over uh, the past four years as an early player of the blockchain platform. Uh, first of all, to introduce WeMade briefly, I'd like to say that WeMade currently provides the most diverse services in the global blockchain scene. We made operate the blockchain network itself, uh, providing wallet services, uh, the attacks to trade game tokens, a marketplace to trade NFTs, auction services, drop NFTs, and also scope service uh, that check the current status of blockchain. Uh, recently, we entered the DeFi market uh, not as a gaming service, but rather uh, as a financial service provider and has successfully launched a service called Clever Protocol. Uh, all these were the result of a, a difficult, consistent challenge uh, by continuing to strike through even bigger and bolder challenges we made will become a leader of blockchain industry. Uh, I would like to first talk about Wimix flagship game, Mir4, which many are most curious about. Mir4 is an MMORPG on PC and mobile, uh, and is certainly the most successful blockchain game in the world right now. The game was launched on August 26th, uh, 2021, and is currently in service in 170 countries. Mirpo uses a game token called Draco uh, and includes NFT-based game characters. Mirpo has shown tremendous performance from the beginning of its launch and now has more than 14 million registered users, more than 2 million uh, daily active users, and over 1.3 million max concurrent users. When Mirpo first appeared on the market, uh, there was already a game uh, with a huge presence in blockchain gaming called X Infinity. Uh, everybody knows. Uh, but Mirpo has now overtaken X Infinity and has now become the best existing blockchain game today. And uh, we are very proud of this achievement. The success of Mirpo means more than just seeing a new strong game on the market. Uh, for a very long time, uh, gaming was only thought to be a form of entertainment. Uh, so playing games was often thought to be an unproductive activity. However, uh, as stated in, in Wimix white paper, uh, which I wrote, wrote myself, uh, we believe that uh, by applying blockchain uh, technology to games, games could uh, actually become productive activities and create economic value through players enjoying and actively playing the game. And this is, has been proven with uh, Mir4. Uh, to tell the truth, uh, even before games crossed paths with blockchain technology, uh, gamers have already been creating economic values through gameplay. We were uh, all already aware of the massive transactions that took place for game item trading uh, and purchasing directly through cash. However, such economic values created through games were never properly recognized. Playing games is a high level uh, mental activity and uh, requires effort and creativity. 
Now gamers need to be fairly valued for their hard work. Blockchain technology does not uh, actually connect games to uh, the real economy. Games are no longer just entertainment and will increasingly take the form of economic activities. Uh, these characteristics are also the essence of metaverse, which is hot, hot trend recently. Uh, when games will uh, officially be recognized for having a true characteristics and values as an economic activity, uh, the game industry uh, once again experienced massive growth. Uh, now, let's talk about token economy that forms the foundation of middle economy. Users can mine dark steel uh, by playing middle four. Dark steel is a very important asset that has many uses in the game. Uh, for one, uh, users can smell dark steel into Draco, a game token, uh, without having, no, uh, having to use it in the game. Of course, you can also trade back in for dark steel. Uh, the exchange rate is determined by an exchange equation called the Derby system. Derby is consta uh, constantly changing to reflect the game's life cycle and activity level. I'm oh, sorry. You can exchange Draco for Wimix credits and Wimix tokens in order to uh, cash out from an external crypto ex uh, cryptocurrency exchange like Crypto.com, Huobi, and so on. Uh, alternatively, you can synthesize Draco to obtain Hydra, a governance token, and stake Hydra to receive interest. Of course, you can also stake Draco itself for a chance to win X Draco items. X Draco items can be traded among users uh, through a trading system called EXD, uh, Exchange by Draco. Uh, Mirpo uh, also features uh, NFT technology. Uh, in MMORPGs, you can convert characters, which can be seen as core assets owned by users, uh, into NFTs. Uh, this character NFT can be traded in the NFT market on Wimix platform. In addition to tokens, we also pro provide Mirage, which is a staking service for character NFTs. It's uh, for not a token. Okay, so just uh, by taking a brief look, uh, brief look into Mirpo, it looks like there are many systems applied to just one game, right? Uh, having multiple systems uh, using blockchain technology applied to Mirpo means that uh, the game is connected to real economy and produces real value, uh, while the game, uh, game's economic system continues to evolve, uh, evolve in many layers. Uh, gamers are no longer just an entertainment to kill time. Games will form an increasingly complex and gigantic economic system, uh, which will be connected to the real economy and become a much larger industry. Just like the case of Mir4 that we've just discussed, uh, your game uh, can also be made into a great blockchain game. Uh, through the Wimix platform, blockchain technology can be integrated into any game quickly and effectively. Uh, this is because we are most well-prepared platform among the existing blockchain game platforms, uh, providing a solid uh, foundation to make a serve make and service blockchain game easily. Uh, now, uh, let's take a look to the Wimix platform. Uh, before we dive into Wimix platform, I'd like to first address some of the uh, challenges we faced uh, while preparing for this particular blockchain platform. Uh, since uh, everyone here today is the, uh, in the game industry, I believe that uh, you can all emphasize with some of these challenges uh, that I'm about to mention. Generally, 
blockchain is a uh, slow and expensive uh, technology when compared to the technology behind database games uh, with a server client structure. This is uh, one of the most expressed issues of blockchain skeptics when tackling blockchain. Uh, taking uh, one of the most well-known Ethereum uh, as an example, transaction per second, also known as TPS, uh, were below 10 and require tens of dollars process one transaction. This was also the case uh, back in 2018 uh, when we first designed our platform. Under these circumstances, it was nearly impossible to apply uh, blockchain to games. And for this reason, blockchain games were forced to be extremely simple only attracting interest from crypto investors and not general gamers. We had to overcome the issue of low TPS and high transaction fees because our goal from the beginning was to combine blockchain with high quality games that could appeal to all gamers. We couldn't spend millions of dollars per day for transaction fees just to drop items to users. We adopted a multi-chain structure to over overcome the challenges of low TPS and secure unlimited scalability uh, to support numerous games. Furthermore, uh, we adopted a hybrid structure that utilizes uh, both public and private chains to dramatically lower the high transaction fees while securing reliability. Uh, when we first designed uh, and launched our multi-chain-based hybrid structure Wemix platform, there was hardly anybody use, uh, else using this structure. Uh, however, the multi-chain-based hybrid structure is now becoming more widely used and games are able to become the new paradigm of blockchain as a brand. Now, uh, let's deeper dive into the Wemix platform. Uh, as explained earlier, Wemix has adopted a hybrid structure, which can mainly be divided into three layers. First, the public chain, which is the highest chain in our chain hierarchy. Uh, the Wemix token, the key currency of the Wemix platform, is issued on this chain and is currently in circulation. Uh, tr the trustworthiness of public chain greatly contributes to the value of Wemix tokens. The service chain uh, uh, is, uh, is at the bottom of the chain hierarchy. Service chains handle transactions that occurs in various games, and thus we have implemented a private chain for past TPS and low fees, which are very important. Service chain is designed to secure infinite scalability by adding new chains uh, in, parallel, in parallel. When one chain reaches its limit as the number of games increases. Game tokens and NFTs are issued on this service chain. This chain is for games, game service. The Wix chain uh, secures interoperability as the interchain that connects public chain and service chain. Uh, blockchain network, in principle, is uh, essentially, uh, essentially isolated, isolated network. Therefore, on-chain data, data is only utilized within the chain. With Wemix chain, however, uh, access and data on various chains on Wemix platform can be exchanged and have various utilities. Trade Delegator uh, plays a key role in implement, uh, implementing interoperability throughout uh, the interchain, which is the Wemix chain. Uh, through the Trade Delegator, uh, assets and data on each individual chain can be transferred to Wemix chain, uh, where it can be exchanged and traded among users. Furthermore, uh, new usages, such as DeFi, uh, are created. 
it could be referred to uh, as the Golden Gate Bridge on, of the Wix ecosystem. Uh, the various chains on the three layers uh, comprise the back end of the Wix platform. The supporting tool in the front end for users uh, to use platform is the Wix wallet. Uh, through Wix Wallet, users can access games, trade tokens, and NFTs. Uh, users can also check their transaction history and stake Wix token. Uh, Wix Wallet is a blockchain wallet and provides more features than any other wallets. Transaction uh, within the Wix platform is also supported on independent web-based service, uh, asset exchanges that support such transactions include DEX, uh, where tokens can be traded, and NFT market, where NFTs can be traded. We plan to continuously expand our service, including more DeFi services where assets can be utilized. Uh, let's jump into the tokenomics of Wimix platform. The biggest characteristics of uh, Wimix tokenomics is that there are multiple game tokens. When we first designed the platform, blockchain games were implementing a single token economy uh, ecosystem, single token ecosystem using Ethereum, like Ethereum or EOS. However, we felt that a single token ecosystem uh, where all games share a single justice, single token was not suited to the uh, nature of the game industry. Uh, although it may easily guarantee immediate uh, returns. As we, uh, as we all know, uh, there exists a huge gap between MMORPGs and casual puzzle games uh, from the way the games are designed uh, to how users treat the games, how in-game assets are rewarded, uh, the purchasing behavior of users, and the economic balance, uh, including overall circulation of assets. However, if only a single token can be used in all games, game designers are uh, then faced uh, with a very frustrating situation. Uh, they are trapped in, the, uh, in this restrictive dilemma. Uh, even before thinking about how to make their games fun, the dilemma is very serious. Uh, given the importance of tokens in blockchain games. We still believe that the most important factor of the game is fun. Uh, we do not believe the, uh, in sustainability of P2E games that are only played to earn money and are not fun to play. Therefore, we say PNE for play and earn. This sort of philosophy was very difficult from other blockchain game platforms. And so we tried to support the idea that a variety of games should have its own unique characters, characteristics and also assisted designers to make games which they think are truly fun uh, without any res uh, restricting dilemma. We believe this is a very important to secure sustainability as a game platform, and now many platforms are following in our steps. Uh, we have also considered the free ride issue uh, that may arise if all games were share a single token. Uh, even if hundreds of games are launched, not all games can achieve the same result. Therefore, if all games share a single token, the great achievement of a game, certain game, cannot be truly enjoyed by that game. But rather, the achievement has to be shared with all other games. We believe that such a system is not fair, and that multiple tokens should be able to be issued. Okay, uh, let's uh, move on to the NFTs. NFT is a topic uh, that most of us are already familiar with. It is uh, greatly anticipated that NFTs will play a key role in games and even if the metaverse. Uh, Wix platform also supports NFTs and all, uh, allows de developers to freely utilize to, uh, this function. In fact, 
Gamers, including all of us uh, here, are relatively familiar with the concept of NFT. Uh, through games, various concepts of NFTs will be developed and various use cases will emerge. As much as I want to dive into this topic, uh, we do not have uh, time today, so let's move on. Uh, but uh, we, we do believe that uh, NFT has great potential to bring about uh, huge changes in the methodology of designing games and providing game services. In short, uh, since blockchain uses a single standard, a feature as simple as NFTs that can be used in any games will bring about huge changes. One of the characteristics of NFT includes the fact that it's owned by users. Game developers can mint and sell NFT before uh, game launch, disclosing game information and raising uh, expectations of users, leading to uh, effective market marketing. Of course, users can farm and trade NFTs after the game is launched. Again, users create economic values by playing the game. Uh, our uh, game tokens issued uh, from the Wings platform can be traded on Wings DEX. All transactions of DEX are made through smart contract, uh, and thus there is no intervention whatsoever by WeMade or third party. Simply put, it is a decentralized exchange. Uh, the NFTs of users uh, can be traded in NFT marketplaces. Place. NFT marketplace is also decentralized exchange where all transactions are made through smart contract. However, there are some differences between an NFT marketplace uh, and existing item trading service of the traditional game com uh, industry. The most notable, notable difference is the distrib distribution of fees. Uh, when a user sells uh, an NFT on the NFT marketplace of Wimix, the user pays a 5% trade fee. 50 of the fee, so uh, 2.5 of total, is dis distributed to creator of NFT. Uh, as the creator of the game NFT is game developer, game company. Uh, the game developer earns 2.5% uh, of all NFT transaction as revenue. Uh, in the existing game item trade, the platform took all of such trade fees, while game developers received none. On Wimix NFT marketplace, however, the revenue is shared with game developers. And thus, we can uh, assume such a case uh, where developers, without implementing any subscription fee or in-app purchase items, uh, can realize revenue solely, solely from NFT trade fees by simply allowing NFTs to be actively trade, traded. Gamers will love any method uh, that does not force uh, purchase, uh, and we will always continue to innovate with blockchain technology. On DEX, users can acquire Remix credit by selling game tokens uh, on from the gameplay. Remix credits can uh, then be converted into Remix token, uh, which can be exchanged for cash on cryptocurrency exchanges. As mentioned in the earlier, uh, playing games has become an economic activity. So uh, next month, we will be a big change in Remix DEX. Currently, DEX is being operated with the old order book. But next month, we will uh, change DEX to operate based on a liquidity pool. Uh, with this new change, all token holders can earn profits by providing liquidity uh, to liquidity pool. Uh, and any users who want to trade a token uh, will be able to make easier trade. Uh, by interesting the liquidity pool, uh, DEX will pave its way to DeFi, and DeFi services will continue to be strengthened to connect games 
with real economy. Uh, as the key currency of the Wix platform, Wix token acts as the measure of value or access on assets on Wix platform and then medium of all uh, trades. Within the year, we will launch a mainnet based on public chain, uh, which is so-called layer one, uh, further solidifying Wix token as a key currency. Uh, as I, oh, sorry. As I mentioned earlier, NFTs can be traded in NFT marketplace on Wix platform. NFT transactions are made utilizing Wix credits as a medium of exchange. Users can sell NFTs they have earned by playing uh, Wix games and then in exchange uh, earn Wix credits, uh, which are uh, can then be converted into Wimix tokens that can be liquidation to cash. Uh, the NFT marketplace is an exchange where a continuous uh, transaction among users are made. Gaming, com uh, gaming companies can drop new NFT through the NFT auctions. There are already many transactions taking place uh, ranging from at least millions to tens of millions of dollars per day in DEX and NFT marketplaces where tokens and NFTs are traded. Again, Wix platform is the most successful blockchain platform, uh, gaming platform globally. Um, Wix tokenomics uh, are best suited for aligning the interests of all participants on the platform. Game developers can earn Wimix tokens by servicing game on the Wimix platform. Users can use in-game tokens uh, while playing games, and game developers receive commissions when the users trade the NFTs. Uh, there's a small price that users have to pay when utilizing blockchain features in the game. Of course, developers can generate revenue in other traditional ways, uh, such as in a purchase, uh, thus, game developers can create various business models, uh, which includes both token and in-app purchase revenues. We made can earn profit from uh, commissions from game developers and users on the platform. Both in-game token and NFT tradings incur a small P, which is recorded as a uh, rem uh, remains revenue. There is also a small fee charge to the in-game tokens consumed by users in-game. Of course, uh, since Wimix is a decentralized platform, uh, the platform itself, uh, as well as game developers participating in the platform generate revenue. This is revenue generating mechanism that applies to all other platforms, and it was always thought to be this way. However, the Wimix platform has a major differentiator. That is, even the users who use only spend money on existing platforms are now also able to make money. The enable, uh, this enables all the participants uh, who are active on platform to create uh, and have economic benefits. This will change the platform in a big way. The users and developers and platforms whose relationship has been hostile uh, in some sense uh, now share a common interest, creating a sense of companionship. Users are not concerned about how much they have to spend on the game but rather about the game quality and the size of users and communities, uh, which will deeply impact the uh, user's profit. Users are now even more passionate supporters of the game. Uh, the differentiator uh, from other existing game platforms uh, is that the interest of the game platform, uh, platform participants are aligned through the Wimix token, uh, which acts as a powerful catalyst for the rapid growth of Wimix 
uh, ecosystem. The great success of Mirpo was no extent, and we believe uh, this is what an innovative platform should look like. Now, uh, now that we have uh, talked about uh, or run more of a Wimix platform, uh, let's uh, take a look at the businesses of WeMade and WeMix team. Uh, at the beginning of th the presentation, I mentioned WeMade currently provide the most diverse and dynamic services in the global blockchain space. Uh, we will share the uh, relevant de details from this slide. Our businesses are divided into three large sectors platform, DeFi, and investment. On the platform side, we provide various services uh, such as multi-chain functions, Wix wallet, DEX, NFT, NFT auction, NFT marketplace, Wix scope, and more. Uh, on the DeFi side, we provide the staking service for Wix token holders. Uh, we also launched a leveraged yield farming service called Clever Protocol uh, earlier in uh, this year, uh, separately from the Wimix platform. Mm. With the launch of the Clever Protocol, uh, in the way, in a way, we sent our first signal that we made this officially uh, entering the future financial market. Uh, just within one week from the from its launch, Clever Protocol became the second largest DeFi service among all Clayton-based DeFi uh, DeFi service. Going forward, we plan to uh, aggressively grow both our game platform business as well as the DeFi business. Uh, with DeFi finance, uh, that is fully controlled by programming. Aggressive expansion of the uh, DeFi business will provide great support to our game platform development. Uh, as mentioned earlier, our Wimix games can create actual economic value uh, using these values as an underlying asset, we can deliver uh, financial benefits to users through various DeFi services. On the uh, investment front, we are investing in various sectors such as blockchain-related technology, metaverse, finance, DeFi, NFT, contents, and security, uh, as well as gaming. Uh, through various investments, we seek opportunities to create new partnership and grow together. Many enterprises are already uh, doing business with us and are delivering uh, concrete results together. Uh, seven games, seven games are already available, uh, onboarded uh, on Wimix platform, starting with Bar Tornado. Uh, the first game launched on December 31st, 2020. Uh, Kaichen Shanchi, uh, Crypt Tornado, Mir 4, Galaxy Tornado, Rise of Stars, and Gunship Battle uh, have all been launched subsequently. Uh, this year uh, will be the year of full pledged growth in our game lineup. As you can see from this slide, uh, many games are getting ready uh, for their launch. launch. As mentioned at the beginning, these games are unlike those that are simple and not fun with the technical limitation of blockchain. But rather, these games are in high quality and ready to deliver fun, uh, to, uh, fun and enjoyment to users all over the world. We define P2E playing, uh, as playing simple and uninteresting games that are solely developed to make money. Uh, we believe enjoying fun games and making money at the same time is much more important. As previously mentioned, uh, we'd like, uh, we now like to start using the term play and on. So with the games on Wimix platform, please call them p &E games, please. We aim to onboard uh, 100 games this year uh, on Wix platform. Moving on, uh, let me introduce uh, the services running on the uh, Wix platform. Uh, let's start with the Wix wallet. Uh, like other wallet, uh, Wix wallet provides functions uh, such as access, uh, transfer, and management of cryptocurrencies. 
Moreover, you can also check previous transactions that have been made. In addition uh, to these basic functions, Wix Network also provide, Wix Wallet also provide the DEX services where game tokens can be traded, and NFT market service where NFTs are traded. Uh, all these services are provided inside in uh, the Wix Wallet. Uh, last but not least, Wix Staking, which should be seen as DeFi, uh, is also provided within Wix Wallet. On the right, uh, right side, we make uh, Dex shown on right side uh, is a fungible token exchange uh, that supports the trading of various game tokens. Uh, and all uh, sell by orders are processed by smart contract and the whole process is automated and done on chain. Not a server. And uh, NFT market supports the P2P trading uh, of NFTs. The P generated by trade is shared with the initial creator of NFT. And we support various segments of NFTs, including art and collectibles, as well as game-related ones. NFT action, uh, auction is not a service where users trade their NFTs, but rather a service where creators exhibit their works. If onboarding games wish to sell NFTs before launch, launch uh, it, will, it will be done through NFT auction. Uh, until now, various creators as well as game developers have, uh, have exib uh, exhibited and sold NFTs through NFT auctions. Uh, the list of people and institutes that have participated in NFT auctions include uh, famous writers, painters, and media giants. Wix Scope, uh, Wix Scope? Uh, usually called the uh, Block Explorer or blockchain, block, block Scanner in other blockchains, uh, is a tool that mentions the state of Wix blockchain. The powerful tool allows anyone to view information that has been written in blockchain, enabling complete transparency. Transparency is the core value of blockchain, and we understand the importance of this. Wimix Wallet uh, provides a staking service for Wimix token. Uh, it is a service that allows to, uh, you to receive interest uh, by staking your Wimix token and can be seen uh, as one of the most basic forms of DeFi. Now let's move on to Clever Protocol. Uh, as mentioned earlier, Clever Protocol is not based on Wix chain. Rather, Clever Protocol operates on, uh, on a public blockchain called Clarin. Uh, and it's the first service to specialize in leverage yield farming. Clever Protocol can be said to be a financial service built with smart contract cutting out any sort of uh, intermediary intervention. We believe uh, that a large part of the conventional financial finance market will move to DeFi in the future. Financial services handled solely by programming are indeed extremely efficient and attractive. We may will continue to expand our realm in DeFi sector. Moreover, new DeFi services will have deep connections with Wimix platform and create synergy. Oh, uh, I've already spent a lot of uh, time to talking, so let's wrap up. Uh, Wimix has uh, been aggressively investing in various fields. Incidentally, most of the companies uh, Wimix invest uh, in have turned out of uh, real success. Moreover, in some cases, company has become even bigger than we made. Kakao, for example, uh, which ranked second after S Samsung Electronics in terms of total market value, was one of, uh, one of the investments that we made has made. Uh, in early stage, we made was the third largest shareholders of Kakao, but unfortunately, sold all the shares in the past. We will continue to make aggressive investment in the future to discover opportunities and strong partnership. Among the companies we have invested in, 
Uh, there are already companies uh, that are expected to become unicorns in blockchain field. We made will collaborate, collaborate and act as an accelerator for the growth of these companies. Wemix, the kick, uh, Wemix token, the key currency of Wemix platform, uh, is listed on many exchanges. The exchanges include major players, uh, as a crypto.com and Huobi, Upbit, and so on and so forth. The risk will uh, keep expanding as uh, we plan to make Wemix a very accessible asset. Uh, people will be able to easily meet Wemix token through various exchanges. Uh, so far, uh, we have talked about the Wemix platform. Uh, as you are all uh, aware, the in internet uh, has been a network for information. As information circulated rapidly uh, through internet without borders, everything has changed. And companies have seized uh, the new era, achieved tremendous success. Blockchain is a network of assets. Blockchain technology enables assets to circulate rapidly without border restrictions. The change is everything, and we are the, in the midst of the change. A new era, is com a new era is coming once again, so we seize the opportunities to become the next Google or Amazon. Just as uh, the internet has solved information inequality, uh, to a large extent, blockchain will solve, will solve much of the wealth inequality problem. Blockchain technology has already proven to be irresistible. If today's presentation has gotten you uh, in, in, intrigue uh, into this technology, I think my job is done here. So I hope everyone here today will become the next Sergey Brin or Jeff Bezos in the future. Uh, don't forget to reach out to me when you do. Thank you. So with about 10 minutes left, um, we will do a Q&A session. If you have any questions, please step up to the mic podium, and um, we will answer any questions we can. Hi, this might be a pretty remedial question for most people in the room, but can you explain a little bit more why staking is so important uh, in this whole uh, ecosystem? Your question is why is staking so important in the ecosystem, right? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I will speak Korean and translate. Uh, 사실은 아까 말씀드렸듯이 블록체인이라는 거는 어, 자산의 생, 자산 생태계이기 때문에 모든 참여자들은 자산의 가치를 중심으로 움직이게 되죠. 음, 그래서 어, 자산이 계속 증식하고 어, 자산의 가치가 상승하는 것에 대해서 굉장히 관심이 많을 수밖에 없습니다. So Blockchain is everything with value, right? So staking is important because um, in order for a blockchain to upper its value, it needs, this, it needs staking to have the value of the ecosystem. 네, 그, 그래서 그 어차피 이제 시장 참여자들이 자산의 가치에 대한 관심이 굉장히 높고 어, 우리의 크립토 커런시와 우리의 플랫폼이 계속해서 성장할 것이라는 믿음과 또그 실질적, 실질적인 진보에 의해서 자산의 가치는 계속 상승하게 될 거, 되고요. 이더리움 가격이 최근 몇 년간 상승한 그 트랙 레코드를 보시면 어, 이해하실 수 있을 텐데 저희 플랫폼도 마찬가지이고 그래서 그 성장하는 플랫폼이 성장하는 그 과실을 어, 그 결과를 어, 우리 유저들 토큰 홀더들과 공유하기 위해서 스테이킹이라는 프로그램, 프로그램을 제공합니다. Um, you can see as an example of Ethereum how it grew in the process of years. Um, our token is the same way. In order for it to um, be more of value to the token holders, we use staking so that we can share the value of the token holder, uh, the value of um, 
our cryptocurrency through staking. 그리고 이제 또한 가지 중요한 목적이 있죠. 어, 보통 크립토커런시들은 이제 그 가격에 되게 투자자들이나 홀더들이 민감하게 반응하는데 어, 결국 가격은 이제 수요 공급에 의해서 결정되는 거고 결국은 어, 공급이 너무 많으면 유통량이 너무 많으면 가격이 떨어지는 하방 압력을 받기 때문에 그러니까 가격이 하락하는 결과를 가져오기 때문에 어, 유통량을 줄이기 위한 방편으로도 스테이킹은 굉장히 실질적인 효과가 있습니다. Sorry, give me one second. Okay, as you know, um, as an investor in tokens, um, if there is too much distrib distribution, the value of the token goes down. Um, so staking is actually used to make sure that the value um, does not degrade too much from the economy. Uh, hi, I have a uh, question about uh, the, you, you said that uh, the, it's very important for the game to be fun, not just uh, play to earn, right? Uh, I have a question about uh, the NFT, uh, the actual what the NFT can do there. The most NFT I see is uh, for collectible items or like uh, the avatar or some. Do you have a good example that NFT, I, uh, NFT stuff or NFT item in the game that provide uh, not only the collection, but also like better game experience for the user. So user really use it for, for more fun. Uh, not only the just connection part. Uh, to rephrase your question, your question is um, how, if we have an example of an NFT of the game um, to make the user more fun playing the game? Yes, that's right. Not just the collection, but the- Not just the- not just the collected. And oh, not collecting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Anything more than connection. Okay. So NFT ga is a game 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 is 그 다음에 사업적, 서비스적 의미들이 담겨 있습니다. 제가 사실 블록체인 비즈니스를 4년 전에 시작했을 때부터 이 질문에 대한 그러니까 이런 챌린지를 엄청나게 많이 받았고요. 그때마다 30분 1시간씩 설명을 해드리곤 했는데요. 일단 오늘은 좀 짧게 말씀드리겠습니다. So this is a very common question. He's been in the industry for four years and every time they answer this, ask this question, it takes him about 30 minutes to explain. So he's going to shorten a little bit, um, but it has a lot to do with technology and business and et cetera. It's not just one sector. Two gaji men is in that. Check out Barsim Dio had two gaji men in the Watson Dio. Chop on Chenan, a Barsim Major to see NFT Chachaka game or Jamie Kajun one Anijo. NFT got it that was a game to Jamie So Jin Asmida. 아, 물론 그런 면이 있긴 하지만 어쨌든 전체적으로 봤을 때 NFT는 어, 게임에 있는 자산인 거고 자산은 사실 예전부터 존재했죠 게임에서 예전부터 존재했던 거고 그 자산의 형태가 NFT로 바뀐 거인 거죠 그래서 저희는 어, 게임 그러니까 아까 말씀드린 플레이 앤 언, 플레이 투 언을 구별할 때 너무 단순하고 재미없는 게임을 그냥 단순히 NFT와 토큰을 얻기 위해서 하는 게임은 지속 가능하지 않을 거다 so there are two terms. Um, definitely, um, NFT does not make the game fun, right? NFT does make the game interesting. It's in the past, um, when you play a game, you get a reward or you get a prize. That just turned into NFT. So in um, WeMate's point of view, um, the PNE concept is to play and have fun. Um, that's uh, the only way to continue to um, have blockchain games to be more entertainable. 그러니까 어, PNE 게임과 P2E 게임에 모두 NFT가 있겠죠. 모두 NFT가 있을 텐데 어, NFT가 있다고 해서 게임이 이제 더 재밌어지는 거 아닌 것 같고 저희는 매우 재미있는 게임에 NFT를 적용하겠다라는 어프로치라고 이해해 주시면 될것 같아요. So our approach is a little bit different. Uh, of course, PNE and P2E are both gonna have an NFT, right? It's just the fact that just because there's an NFT, it's not that it's gonna be more fun. Their approach is to make their game more fun by, um, their approach is to have the game to be more fun and an NFT is something that they get from the game. 사실은 모든 게임 내 유저의 소유의 자산은 아까도 말씀드렸듯이 가치를 갖고 있었죠. 실제로 거래가 되기도 했고. 먼저 선생님. 한 번만 더 
네, 사실은 다 알고 계시다시피 게임 내 유저가 소유한 뭐 골드라든지 캐릭터라든지 뭐 어, 아이템들은 다 경제적인 가치를 갖고 있었죠. So in the past, all games, whether it was gold or anything, it all had a value when you play the game. 근데 NFT가 도입되면 뭐가 제일 달라지냐? 아까도 제가 잠깐 얘기했지만 자산이 유저의 소유가 된다는 점이 가장 중요합니다. So the biggest difference is that, as he explained earlier in the presentation, is that with NFT, the value of the NFT becomes the players. 어 그리고 자산이 유저의 소유가 되고 게임사의 소유가 아니라 유저의 소유가 되고 그것이 블록체인이라는 단일 표준 어 단일 표준을 가지고 있. The importance is that it becomes the players and that it is an NFT, so it has value in the blockchain um, community. 그래서 어, 요, 제가 캐릭터 그 미르포의 캐릭터를 갖고 있으면 옛날에는 게임사에서 캐릭터를 예를 들면 제재를 한다거나 접속을 막아서 이용을 못하게 할수 있었는데 이제는 그런 게 불가능한 거죠. 유저의 소유이기 때문에 건드릴 수가 없고요. 그걸 유저가 어떻게 쓰건 그건 유저의 마음이에요. So in the past, let's say if you played a game and you got an NFT um, from that game, once that game is gone, that NFT is gone as well. But as a blockchain, what happens is because it is the user's NFT, this user can use this NFT to um, wherever that takes this NFT and exchange it for their own use. 그러면서 어떤 가능성이 생기냐면 게임 아이, NFT를 게임 아이템을 하나의 게임에서 쓰는 게 아니라 원하는 모든 디벨로퍼들이 가져다 쓸수 있다라는 새로운 가능성이 생기게 됩니다. So the new possibility that happens is that um, with this NFT that this um, player has as their own can have um, the option to use this NFT in any other games that is part of the blockchain. 네, 뭐 예를 들면 어, 뭐를 예를 들어 볼까요? 어, World of Warcraft 뭐 와우라고 하죠. 우리가 World of Warcraft 예를 들어 보면 World of Warcraft에 제가 소유한 캐릭터를 블리자드에서 일방적으로 어, 뭐 접속을 못하게 거내는 게 아니라 월드 오브 워크래프트의 어, 워딩이 좀 그런데 기생한다고 그러면 좀 그렇고 월드 오브 워크래프트의 아이템들을 사용하는 많은 마이너 게임들이 생길 수 있는 거죠. 왜냐하면 그건 유저 소유고 블리자드가 막을 수 없는 거예요. 그렇기 때문에 어떤 게임사가 그걸 가져다 쓰던 그 유저와 다른 게임 그 디벨로퍼의 마음입니다. So he wants to give an example for this is not real. It's just an example. Um, so let's say World of Warcraft, you got a reward, right? You got an NFT from there. Um, Blizzard can't stop you from using just that NFT in um, World of Warcraft. With this, you, what you can do is you can take that character and NFT to all the small little miners, and you can have uh, value in those games as well. 네 그리고 얘기하자면 긴데 좀 짧게 말씀드리면 게임 만들고 나면 게임 런치하고 나면 개발자들이 더 바쁘거든요. 네, 뭐 크, 한국에서 크런치 모드라고 하는데 업데이트 하느라고 정말 너무 힘들어요. 근데 아, 그런 악순환을 끊을 수 있는 방법이 저는 NFT라고 생각합니다. Um, so usually when they launch a game, the developers have a they have a hard time kind of updating the games to make it better and better, right? They consider it crunch time. Um, so in this case, if they actually um, cancel the game or the game doesn't update itself, they still have the benefits of the rewards that they got from the game to begin with to play with other games. 네, 그 개발팀이 그 유저들의 요구에 유저들의 요구에 밀려서 매일 밤을 새우고 개발하지 않아도 좀 시간을 갖고 게임에 있는 일테면 탈 것이 뭐 일테면 뭐 MMORPG는 보통 탈 것이 있잖아요. 뭐 아, 뭐라 그러죠? 영어로 뭐라 그탈 것이 있는데 이걸 가지고 그냥 한 6개월 후에 그 NFT를 갖고 레이싱 게임을 따로 만들면 훨씬 더 재밌게 만들 수 있거든요. 이러한 뭐 되게 짧게 얘기해서 설명이 좀 어렵지만 이런 어, 가능성들이 NFT가 게임 서비스와 게임 산업에 미치는 영, 게임 산업에 굉장한 영향을 미칠 거라고 생각합니다. So um, in a developer's point of view, um, instead of crunching time overnight, trying to update the game for the users so that they have more fun and benefits of getting more NFTs, what they can do is they can actually, because the NFT can be played in other games as well, they can spend that time trying to create a new game, for example, from World of Warcraft over to like a racing game with the same NFTs, and it'll have a much more uh, better effect in um, a much more fun game other than just keep updating with crunch time. And so that's the new possibility that the NFT will be making over time. Thank you.
Thank you. Unfortunately, time has come, so we can't take any more questions. But if you do have any other questions, please visit our booth. It is in the South Hall. You'll see it. It's very big and it's white. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.